So here are some of the most common causes of insulin resistance and diabetes. At the top of the list, something that I've talked about a lot in other videos is leptin resistance. So when you're leptin resistant, this will have a cascade of problems in terms of your overall functioning of not only your brain and your nervous system, but also based on your endocrine system and the way that your insulin is actually functioning. Usually you get the leptin resistance as the problem first, and then ensues the insulin resistance. Now in terms of the diet, we know that high carbohydrate foods, the ones that are higher on the glycemic index of foods that will spike your blood glucose levels more rapidly will definitely be one of the causes of this problem. As well as, which you may not have heard, the polyunsaturated fatty acids, especially the highly processed canola oil, vegetable oil, these are all very inflammatory for the body and do raise blood glucose levels. So another thing that you may not realize is that your environment has a lot to do with your blood sugar levels. So blue light toxicity from artificial lights have been known, and this has been studied, to raise your blood sugar levels. So as much as you may be doing everything right with your diet, you're watching your carbohydrates, you are exercising, you're watching those PUFAs in the diet, the polyunsaturated fatty acids, yet you have a lot of environmental exposure to artificial light, whether that's your device your television screens or computer screens and the more energy efficient light bulbs in your home this could be raising your blood glucose levels in this study we can see that morning and evening blue light enriched exposure both resulted in higher insulin resistance but evening blue light enriched environment led to higher peak glucose levels so that's important after the Sun has gone down which I've shared in a lot of other videos due to our leptin signaling and our melatonin secretion our circadian rhythms after that sun has set you do not want to have a lot of artificial light in your environment if you need to please block your eyes with the blue light blocking glasses as well as non-native EMF so this is something that whether it's from cell phone towers it could be again from your Wi-Fi router any type of non-native electromagnetic field can have a negative impact on your blood glucose levels this what it does is it's opening up something called the VGC the voltage gated calcium channels flooding too much calcium into your cells which if not regulated can form something called peroxynitrite which is a toxic free radical and causes a lot of inflammation. So this is something that will also raise your blood sugar levels. Now lack of exercise we know is not your best friend when you're trying to deal with high blood sugar levels. Making sure that you get enough exercise is important as well. And stress is another causative factor. So when we're in that sympathetic part of our nervous system, that fight or flight response, this will definitely increase our inflammatory cytokines and other hormones like epinephrine and increase the production of glucose by breaking down our glycogen stores into glucose and this is something that even from you know not having a lot of carbs in the diet when you're stressed out your blood glucose levels will tend to be a little bit higher this is a mechanism of survival for our bodies as well as that cortisol so we know the stress hormone cortisol secreted from our adrenal glands will also block the effects of insulin so that we won't be able to get that glucose into the cells actively to turn into energy now infections, chronic infections can also raise our blood glucose levels as well as certain medications. So steroids like corticosteroids, which are typically prescribed as anti-inflammatories for rheumatoid arthritis and lupus and allergies can raise our blood glucose levels. The statin drugs, so the cholesterol lowering drugs will also raise blood glucose levels and drugs that treat anxiety, things like ADHD, as well as depression and other mental disorders are known to raise the blood sugar levels. Levels. Other medications such as birth control pills and hormones, high blood pressure pills, and even acne medications can spike your blood sugar levels. Now there's some over-the-counter medicines that will also do this, so decongestants that have stimulants in them, such as pseudoephedrine, cough syrups as well, watch the sugar content in these, and believe it or not, niacin. So we know that, and you know that I don't like synthetically made vitamins, but niacin is also known to spike your blood glucose levels. So that's why I always recommend, of course, getting your vitamins from a whole food natural source. So today I talked all about some of the causes of insulin resistance and diabetes and high blood glucose levels. I hope that you learned something new. If you do have a question or comment, please 
please drop it in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well, and I appreciate a big thumbs up. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking the bell. Everyone has a calling in life, and mine is to empower you to live a healthy lifestyle, and of course, to do it naturally. Thanks for watching.